Gina from Haunted Flower and I'm going to be giving you a movie review for a movie you may not have heard of yet called My Name is Jerry. Released in 2009, My Name is Jerry is an independent film directed by Indiana's own Morgan Mead based on his original story. It features stars like Doug Jones, Katherine Hicks, Don Starks, and Allison Scagliotti as well as some Ball State University students. Allison, I apologize if I can't say your name right. Doug Jones plays Jerry, an insecure salesman a little lost in life when a chance encounter with a stranger motivates him to try a few new things. Doug Jones is mostly known for his work in movement while wearing prosthetics like Abe in the Hellboy franchise and Silver Surfer in the Fantastic Four franchise, and more recently in Legion as the dreaded ice cream man. Ha ha! I know my sisters will remember in the episode of Buffy from the Vampire Slayer called Hush, the crazy, like, guy who did this. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. But here, Doug Jones gets to appear a lot more naturally as Jerry, an awkward man, to say the least, struggling with discovering what he wants out of life and trying to reconnect with his daughter, who is almost a stranger to him. Part of his self-discovery process involves discovering punk music and hanging out with a younger crowd that helps him kind of break out of his shell. Let's face it, Doug Jones is a unique looking fellow to say the least. Full body shots really expose kind of how gangly he is and also how well cast for the role. Doug Jones's greatest strength is his physicality in the character. It really demonstrates his emotions and insecurities and awkwardness more so than anything he communicates with his voice. He makes scenes with Jerry attempting to dance pure laughter, and even with his great height, he always appears shorter than his superiors crouched down in his chair. Don Stark, whom you might remember from that 70s show, has one of the standout roles as Jerry's best friend and fellow salesman, David. He pushes Jerry to get out of his comfort zone and take a chance, and his drunken scene at the 4th of July party was some of the funniest stuff in the film. Another very funny character is the motivational speaker at a conference, Troy Clark, played by Jonathan Keaton. His satirical character as the phony with the sparkly smile and twinkle in his eye was absolutely hilarious, and it served as a great hook in the beginning to really get the story going. Katherine Hicks appears as Dana Holderman, a boss who wants to hire Jerry for her sales team but is not convinced of his ambition and drive to succeed. She drops the seventh heaven mom persona to be like tough as nails one minute and soothingly sympathetic the next. Other ladies to take note of would be Allison Scagliotti, sorry Allison, who plays Jerry's daughter Trisha, and also Caitlin Carlson who plays Jordan, a bartender who is a riddle and gets Jerry interested in living life more fully again. Allison really generates a lot of great emotion and estrangement while owning up to her yearning for independence and masking her true desire for a real father figure. Carlson's quirkiness and pizzazz makes her spunk and positive attitude instantly accessible and attractive. Her energy really helps drive the film and add a little bit more spice when Jerry is exuding an aura of bland. <laughs> That's just the way he is. Jones and Carlson together have really great chemistry that makes the relationship seem a lot more realistic and is a little reminiscent of the friendship between Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson in Lost in Translation. Jerry's journey is that of an underdog begging for others to take a chance on him, and he is definitely a character to root for. This was a very well-written story and script. It is a unique story blending together many elements between career and family and friends and love. If you haven't seen it, especially if you are from Indiana, you should definitely go to MyNameIsJerry.com to find out more information about it. It has not found a distributor yet, but if you sign up for their mailing list, you can be updated when there are screenings or a possible DVD release in the future. This project was produced by Ball State University with some students as cast and crew, including alumni Doug Jones and alumni director Morgan Mead. It has been a big hit at its loyal fan base in Indiana, and word deservedly needs to be spread around so that it can get the recognition it deserves. It has won several awards, including Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Soundtrack at the International Filmmaker Festival, also official selection at the Heartland Film Festival, and Best Comedy at the Route 66 Film Festival. Morgan Mead's more recent film, My Bloody Wedding, is about a possessed bride eating up dorky Doug's friends and family, and is apparently in the same vein of comedy as 
Wayne's World and Airplane, and I will also be reviewing it soon, so you should check back here for when that goes up. In the meantime, you can find out more information on where to watch that film at mybloodywedding.com. Once again, thanks for listening. Thank you to my loyal fans who come to this channel and check out my reviews. I hope that I have uncovered a gem for you that perhaps you hadn't heard about yet, and maybe you can tell your friends and family and help out the nice folks here in Indiana with their film. Another bit of news is that I now have a video podcast on iTunes, so you can actually subscribe to me on, at the iTunes store. Just search Haunted Flower and you'll find my podcast. It has a cute little ghost with a thing of popcorn, and I will be putting all of my newest videos up there as well so that they can go straight to your iPod or your iPhone or your i-whatever, and you can take me with you when you're choosing a movie. Shameless plug! Don't forget to see all of my reviews and videos of me on the Rotten Tomatoes show at hauntedflowerreviews.com. Also check out our store, hauntedflower.com, the web's best source for fantastic apparel. You can follow us on Twitter at haunted underscore flower or fan our Facebook page too. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit indiemojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes. Don Starks and Allison Scagliotti as as <sighs> life when a chance encounter with a stranger motivates boss who wants to hire Jerry for a sales team. Morgan Mead's more recent film, My Bloody Wedding. I'm hoping that I a boss who wants to hire. Maybe just go back. Okay.